Well, it's fair to say the last week has been one of the most stressful of my life. This isn't a video I expected to be creating for you, but before we get back to normal on the channel with a new video coming on Sunday, I wanted to explain why it disappeared for eight days. So the channel was taken down because it was hacked and hijacked. It happened in an instant and all I could do was sit and watch as someone somewhere tore down six years of work and then used my YouTube platform to attempt to scam others. Two horrifying things happening at the same time. So the hack was targeted, it wasn't random, and the same thing is happening to other YouTubers on a regular basis. Basically, you make the mistake of downloading and opening malware. In my case, it was a file masquerading as a media kit from what appeared to be a reputable business, and boom, the hackers were in, and I was locked out. So the two-step verification didn't help me because they were hijacking my open session in YouTube and changing my security details from within really rapidly to block my access. And basically it took them two minutes to hijack my channel and it took me eight long, really stressful days to get it back. So once the hackers were in, they changed my channel name and then within a couple of hours, they had replaced my channel banner with MicroStrategy branding and were pumping out crypto scam videos. And MicroStrategy is a real company and so the hackers are also hijacking their trade name and attaching it to their scam content. So a trademark claim was filed against my channel that was caused by the hackers adding this company name and branding onto my channel and uh, onto the scam content that they shared from it. So I contacted YouTube to report the hack immediately. The morning after the hack, the channel was taken down and I was relieved that viewers were no longer being targeted from my channel because that had obviously been a big concern. My actual Google account that I used to manage the channel was recovered and secured within just a couple of days, but my channel remained suspended. So YouTube confirmed that I had been hacked and my channel hijacked, but getting past the trademark claim was a real obstacle course. I filed a legal complaint appeal, it was turned down. I submitted a YouTube account appeal and it was also rejected. And so by this stage, I was really panicking. And the bottom line is the team tasked with recovering hijacked accounts couldn't deal with the legal complaint. So there were two separate systems and it just takes time in such a large organization to get your case in front of the right people. Finally, eight days after the hacker struck, my channel was reinstated and you can imagine the relief. Up to that point, it felt like I was stuck in a maze, blindfolded and wounded because I just couldn't figure out the system or where I was in it. And I would have been completely lost without the partner operations team manager here in the UK who kind of stepped in and escalated my case and helped me out so much. And also Team YouTube on Twitter were really helpful as well. And if you're a YouTuber watching this for advice on what to do, if you're in a similar situation, I pray that doesn't happen to you. But if so, go to my website, honest.scott. I've detailed my experience and what I think you should do if you are hacked based on what happened to me. And some of you will know I left my job in the news industry back in December to focus full time on this channel and growing my website and being an independent content creator dedicated to sharing advice and information around skincare and healthy aging. So I mean, talk about timing because that just meant that losing my channel was particularly scary because I have so many eggs, pretty much all my eggs, in the Honest Channel basket. So I'm working on growing my audience on my website. I'm gonna mention it again, and it's always linked in my video descriptions. If you scroll down, there's a little box at the bottom of any page where you can sign up for my monthly newsletter. And I just use that to round up the latest content and stories that I've been working on and the latest news from me. And I'm also on Instagram. You can find me there at Honest Claire. And some of you came over there to find out what was happening while the channel was down. I also started a second channel called Honest Claire, and that's where I'm gonna be sharing more personal behind the scenes life stuff really, and hopefully building a community of like-minded people who wanna make the most out of life and inspire and support one another. So I'll link that in the description too. To those who reached out to me over such a difficult time and those who were looking for me and wondering what was going on, your concern meant so much. That support just really lifted me, thank you. And I'm really grateful to have the channel back. It's a bit bruised, 
the scammers were pumping out live videos and goodness knows what and so quite a few people unsubscribed and I can totally understand why and it's just going to take a little time to get back to full strength again. The hackers didn't delete my videos but they unpublished them so um, they're now republished but they've lost some momentum. Um, if you unsubscribed I'd love to have you back as a subscriber too and I will be guarding this channel like a tigress from here on in and although I'm not going to pretend I was anything other than very stressed for a full eight days I did take some really important lessons away from this experience beyond the obvious need to increase uh, my security around the channel and what helped most over that week was realizing I had a choice as to how I saw the situation and I chose to believe that events were actually happening for me and not against me and that I would grow from them and good would come of the situation and maybe that's just spreading awareness of this scam and the need for us all to take more care online and I learned too that I love what I've built on YouTube since I left my job and had turned YouTube into a profession rather than a hobby I'd been becoming a bit fearful you know I was trying to please everyone with my content and taking some of the criticism that's inevitable when you're sharing content online but I had been taking some of it to heart and just in fighting for my channel like I had to do I realized the only thing that matters is not how fast I grow it's not shying away from criticism it's that I produce the content that is true to me and my instincts of what I think are important and what's interesting information in the space of aging well and if I try to predict what I think people might like or not like it holds me back so I've returned to this channel with even more passion and I'm stronger and there were moments when the channel was down that I would have given anything to be dealing with a nasty comment rather than wondering if I'd lost the channel for good so I think I have things back in perspective again and I also learned that weirdly when the chips are down I seem to turn to chocolate covered peanuts anyway we are back to business again this Sunday I'll be sharing the results from using the Aonia age defying serum that contains the space tested super ingredient Basilisk lysate that we heard about in my most recent interview on this channel so I'll link to that if you haven't watched it yet because it's a fascinating discovery for now thank you so much for being here today and for supporting me and let's help keep each other safe online